I'm Katie Bowen and I'm going to be talking about my life performance workshop uh, overall first year and what genres we'll be looking at and then also about the assessment. So this year for our first year the genres we looked at were blues, rock, soul and funk. Um, just songs that I'd never thought I'd sing, never thought it'd suit me and I just end up loving kind of most of them. Uh, my favourite were Hold On I'm Coming and Give Me Shelter because I felt like you could just put your own spin on it and they were belty and sassy and I just, I really like those. Um, the weeks I did find challenging were the week that I did Marvin Gaye What's Going On. The melody line was amazing, you know, every, the structure was fine. It was just the harmonies I really struggled on because they were really, you know, close together and they had to be really tight for them to work. So yeah, that was uh, that was a hard week for me. Um, however, I have been able to progress my harmonies. Um, they weren't that great at the start of the year, so I just found that you know getting all the vocalists together and just having a practice with each other and making sure all the harmonies were right and tight was the best way to go forward this year. Um, yeah, so weekly get-togethers with the musicians, then other times with just the vocalists and a piano and stuff like that were great and helpful and beneficial. And then also our singing teacher, Kirsty, got to go through them uh, week by week. And she'd, you know, point out the harmony and point out the melody line and stuff like that. So that was cool. So yeah, overall, um, I really enjoyed uh, kind of the, I think we did 16 songs. Yeah, they were really fun. And really good and it kind of it's made me feel a lot more confident at the start I wasn't that confident I was really scared um, because you know sometimes other people learn totally different stuff to you but you know we all communicated and made sure that everybody was listening to the right one and learning the right one so that was really good and now I just feel like you know it's fun to just learn a song one week get up and like yeah it's really cool so yeah, that was the kind of 20 weeks that we've had, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, so after we'd uh, done the last song, which is Night by Night by Steely Dan, we were then given a song by Steely Dan again called Peg, and that was uh, going to be our definite assessment song. So I think we spent about three weeks on it, and so the three weeks, the three weeks they... All the three weeks went well. Uh, later that day, after we were given the song, we took it to our singing teacher, Kirsty, and she helped us with the melody line, helped us, you know, how many bars the guitar solo there was in draw, and then she also helped us pick out the harmonies so we could go away as a vocal group and we could learn them and make them tight and make them all together. So, yeah. So the day before the Tuesday we had a Monday session, just the singers and a piano and we worked out from scratch because we we just felt like we had to because the harmonies are so close that you can't really hear them properly in the track. So we worked them out, sang them through, they were really challenging but we managed to get through them. At the first week we found that the harmonies were off the middle one there was literally one note off but it sounded kind of terrible when we'd sung it so we went away the next week we had i think we had about two sessions made sure the harmonies were fab made sure they were tight you know just got blitzed them and we came back and they were great so the third week we recorded for the foot for the third years in recording so that was cool and it was just nice to kind of get practice and kind of you know feed off each other all the stuff that we've been doing so yeah so after we did uh, a couple of weeks on peg we got told about the assessment so the assessment entails peg get us on peg and then john our lecturer give us backstabbers good foot and dance in the moonlight and one of those three will be picked on the day and then also a creative ensemble so we got put into bands by creative ensemble so whoever band we were in for that then we could work on backstabbers and good foot and dust in the moonlight and peg all together and get it ready for the assessment day so 
Backstabbers, Goodfoot and Dance in the Moonlight is going really well at the moment. Um, basically, they're just kind of songs that we know, we've learnt, we've done, we just need to tighten it up. So, we chose either me or Ellie, who's the other female singer in the band, to sing Dance in the Moonlight and we've taken it up two tones as well. So, we can... Um, because I felt, well, we both felt that the chorus was way too low for us to sing. So we've taken that up by two tones. Um, for the three songs, uh, we're just working on making sure everything's perfect. Even Peg we're working on. So we're just taking in turns to sing lead. Just in case, you know, something might happen on the day where we have to switch it around. So we're making sure that we're learning every single song individually, inside out. So we can just run to wherever we need to be on the day. Uh, making sure the structures are right, making sure they're right, they're tight, they're great, you know, we all know what we're doing. Um, last minute things like tempos and timings are being fixed, making sure everything's perfect. Um, the biggest thing we're working on is starting and ending and an un apologetic. Um, that's kind of the one thing that John is really kind of enforcing us, is saying, don't, you know, make sure they're nice and strong and they're really good. So then, uh, making sure all the chords are right, how how we create in a sense of journey in the piece, um, so it doesn't seem like it's the same all the way through, adding dynamics, taking away dynamics, making sure the text is right in the piece, um, you know, so if someone's playing the melody line, making sure the accompaniment isn't, you know, overpowering, so that's really just, just focusing on all those points. Uh, creative Ensemble, then, uh, the song that I chose to do was Call It A Love. Uh, we've got three singers, two drummers in our band, and then one guitarist, one bassist. Um, so yeah, we organised each other into four bands because there were three other songs to do. So our first practice mainly was just sharing ideas, spitting ideas out, you know, seeing what we wanted to do with the piece. From day one, we really liked kind of opening it up really jazzy and sultry and... You know, just having one singer, just making it really simple, bass, you know, guitar uh, guitar and drums just coming in. And then kind of bringing the rock element into like the second and third verse. And, you know, making the choruses really big. So yeah, we decided that after the first uh, practice, that that would be the kind of way we wanted to go. Um, but yeah, so we decided that there's, you know... That'd be a nice kind of sense of journey and kind of sense of, you know, adding stuff in, making sure the dynamics there. But we also wanted to keep the psychedelic feel of in the middle of the song, just like Hold On I Love did, but without a spin on it. Um, so yeah, the psychedelic, well, it starts off jazzy and then goes into the rock, uh, rockier part, and then... The middle eight is very psychedelic. We're gonna add a bongo part in for Tom. And we've also got a chromatic ascending and descending harmony line, which is cool. Um, at the start, we were just gonna do eight bars of it all together, but now we've changed it and we're gonna do, we're gonna bring one by one in so it kind of builds and it's really cool. And then into the guitar solo, and then another chorus, and then out, which I think, you know, so you're kind of keeping all the main themes and elements of the song, but putting our spin on it and stuff like that. Um, the most challenging thing we've had to face in practice is going from the jazzier part to the rocky bit. We don't want to... You know, we don't want it to. We really don't want it to sound like it's two different songs. All of a sudden, we need that really smooth transition. So we did spend a good, you know, half of the session really on it, just making sure that everybody knew the timings and how to transition really smoothly into the rockier part. So yeah, um, we haven't really changed anything since then. We just keep practicing, make sure everything's solid. Everyone knows the structure, we've all got cheat sheets, just making sure that everything is nice and tight for the assessment day. And yeah, that's all really. And yeah, hoping the assessment goes really well. So thank you.